before now, Campiogo wanted to shoot down the plane that was carrying a church in Shuragand. He has been acquitted. The wife has been sentenced to three years simple imprisonment after stealing millions upon millions. This is hundreds of millions. The one that they are talking about is the one that you have seen. Where is the justice? Why did we campaign? What, what do we campaign for? Eh? If criminals will be going to jail for three years, eh? why they are in jail there? Do you know that actually these guys don't suffer in jail? I've been in jail as, as, a, as a rich guy. I know how it is there. Every minute, you are treated like a president. They bring you out anytime you want. Your family see you anytime they want. For three years only, for stealing millions upon millions. But a child, a poor person that steals matchet. A poor person that steals 20 quarter. We go in for 40 years. <laughs> we really need serious deliverance in Africa. I'm disappointed by the UPN government. This is not what we fought for. <laughs> this is not what we campaign for. Who didn't see how Campiongo was fighting me and insulting me? I didn't want to... Hi lovely viewers, it's me again, your one and only Mdati Mpondo. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. So today... It's uh, October 1st, 1st of October, 2024. First of all, I want to bless you. I want to bless the month of, of October for you. If you have just joined, if you have joined this broadcast, please share the broadcast. You have joined, share. If you have joined, you share. If you have joined the broadcast, you share the broadcast so that whatever i'm speaking will get to you remember before you receive any blessing from the prophet you must follow a prophetic instruction there is no uh, blessing that comes without following the prophetic instruction so the prophetic instruction here is that if you have just joined the broadcast you share the broadcast when you share the broadcast you tell me where you are watching from where are you watching me from comment where you are watching from in the comment section so today is the today is the first day of october 2024 and today is independence day in nigeria i don't know how old we are today <laughs> I don't know how old we are in Nigeria today, but uh, I posted on my WhatsApp status, I said, please, don't tell me Happy Independence Day. Yeah, because usually every year when there is independence, so people send independence greeting to me. I ah, see I want Happy Independence Day to you. So I posted on my WhatsApp status, I said, please, don't, don't tell me Happy Independence Day to you. I don't need it because we are not independent, we are still dependent. Nothing has changed from the time we got our independence. So it's useless for you to tell me Happy Independence. And then I, I say thank you uh, for something that is not there. There is no country in Africa that is independent. As far as I know, maybe countries in the East Africa, uh, countries like Morocco, Egypt, maybe those guys have independence. But as far as I'm concerned, there is no country in Africa that really has independence. 
we are deceiving ourselves i mean we are we are we have independence but we don't have our oil the only thing that god gave to us that we can use to manage ourselves here in nigeria we don't have we don't have it it's not in our hand so where is the independence where is the independence we we are really we are joking we are jokers so we don't have independence same as so many countries in in africa they just answer independence for answering sake but unfortunately there is no independence there i know one country uh, south africa south africa is just answering independence but uh, the real south africans do not have anything to their name the lands are owned by the whites the natural resources the mines are owned by the whites the banks are owned by the whites the uh, the everything own nothing south south africans they own absolutely nothing uh, everything is owned by the whites uh, south africans live in soweto they live in a uh, ghetto area but if you go to santan you can see it's, it's it's the whites all the building there <laughs> you can see it's rare that you see a black person owning owning a proper building in santan black south african so those people they got independence on paper but in actual sense they are not independent they are still dependent same as nigeria like i've said same as many other countries uh, i mean if you go to zambia today the mine is controlled by foreigners uh, everything a big contrast is is is, is being done by foreigners uh, the resources is in the hands of the foreigners so there is no country in africa that really has independence those things are just there on paper and these guys that claim that they we have independent you actually believe me that they still control us they are still the ones giving us money like for example i i was watching president hh that that gave a very very good wonderful budget presentation at the the minister of finance that gave very good budget presentation but where is the money to finance the budget we have the ideas in africa but we don't have the money the money is ours actually but we don't have access to it so for for that budget to be financed now you still have to go to imf or you must go to world bank or you must go to chinese to borrow money to finance that project <laughs> to finance that budget so that is to to show you that actually no country in africa has independence we are still being ruled by the whites but i'm praying that one day very soon we are going to be able to control our resources we are going to be able to have our own resources so this is why i'm not celebrating uh, nigerian independence day today i am actually uh, going to the site where I'm, I'm doing projects they say today is public holidays it doesn't concern me because really what am i celebrating what are we celebrating are we celebrating we have petrol but you cannot have we cannot afford it i mean eh? is that what i have to celebrate am i celebrating that uh, people are dying in masses in a hospital is it the independence that i'm celebrating eh? am i celebrating that we have actually lost democracy in this country gradual like play like play we 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 have we have lost democracy so what am i celebrating what is the independence for that's why i'm saying if you make mistake to send me happy independence to you papa that message is the last one that you are going to send to me once i read it i will block you we are not we are we are still independent that, that's why sometimes when i look at the 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 government of president bola ahmed tunubu 
It's not favoring so many people, but he's taking a very, very drastic measure. He said, look, we must be independent. Time of running to World Bank to go and borrow money. Those money that we are borrowing, that's what is killing us. That money that IMF is giving to us in Africa here, that is the money that is killing us. That is the money that is messing up things for us. That is the money that is destroying us. We have enough resources here in Africa. We have everything here in Africa, but I don't know why we still run to white people. It's because of bad leadership. We don't have good leadership. We don't have leaders that love the people. We have leaders that are working for the whites. Leaders that are joining the white to oppress the citizens. That's why you see politicians. You see politicians. Politicians are the problems that we have in Africa. To me, one day, if, if I would just be given an opportunity to deal with them, I would gather all the politicians in the whole world and put them in one house. All of them, in all, all so long as you are a leader, especially the president. I won't say all the politicians because I've met some politicians that are good. There are some politicians that really want to help the citizen, but they don't have the opportunity. I mean, from president, uh, uh, members of parliament, senators if i if me i can have the opportunity to treat them given that opportunity i will just ask them ah, all of you come oh, come in one room in a very big hall like this they will gather there in millions i will close it and put petrol and solve the problem of this africa once and for all i'm telling you i will do it if I have that power and authority, if I can be a president, like a president of, or of Russia, a president of America, I will do it. I will call them, I will say, I have something for Africa, I have something for you, come. All the presidents in Africa, come, there is something good for you. <laughs> I want to give you money. They will gather because they love money. African presidents, they love money. They will gather, all of them will gather in one room. I will just lock the room and put petrol. The problem of Africa will be solved. Because really, they are, they are, they are playing with us. Politicians are playing with us. They are, they are messing us up here. They are destroying Africa. They are the reason why Africa is being destroyed. Like for example, in 20... In 2019, 2020, 2021, when I was campaigning, fighting, fighting to the nail so that we could remove beer from power. One of the reasons why I wanted them to be removed from power is so that they can go to jail. They can be taken to jail. But today, what is happening? I'm hearing that... Uh, Chito Taylor was jailed for three years. <laughs> Somebody stole a property worth millions. Millions upon millions. 30 million, 40 million, 50 million, 60 million, 100 million kwacha. They will go to court and be jailed for three years. Simple imprisonment. Politicians are criminals, I'm telling you. These guys... <laughs> Trusting them is like uh, <laughs> trusting them is like uh, trusting the devil. Somebody stole millions upon millions. You go to court. You find him guilty and take him in for three years. Simple imprisonment. Somebody that stole somebody that stole millions because he's a politician. You take him and three, I'm, I, these cases, you know, I'm laughing. I don't understand this UPND government. It's like these guys, <laughs> you make me laugh. Chito Tela, three years imprisonment. Property worth millions upon millions. Three years imprisonment. Campion go acquitted. 
you make me cry you make me feel like i'm a fool i feel like i've been used i feel like i've been used i've been used and dumped <laughs> I mean, how can you look at somebody who's, you recovered the property worth millions upon millions of kwacha and you give him three years imprisonment? What is three years? Before you close your eyes and open it, it's out. He will continue stealing. But let an ordinary, a poor person that is not a politician, steal chicken. You will be given 20 years imprisonment. That's why I told you poverty also is a sin. Those of you that think that you go to heaven because you are poor, you are not going anywhere. <laughs> poor people don't get justice. A poor person will never get justice. Whether here on earth or in heaven, poor person will never get justice. Just look at what is happening. Before now, Campiogo wanted to shoot down the plane that was carrying HH in Shuragandi. He has been acquitted. The wife has been sentenced to three years simple imprisonment after stealing millions upon millions. This is hundreds of millions. The one that they are talking about is the one that you have seen. Where is the justice? Why did we campaign? What, what do we campaign for? Eh? If criminals will be going to jail for three years, eh? why they are in jail there? Do you know that actually these guys don't suffer in jail? I've been in jail as, as, a, as a rich guy. I know how it is there. Every minute they are treated like a president. They bring you out anytime you want. Your family see you anytime they want. For three years only, for stealing millions upon millions. But a child, a poor person that steals machet. A poor person that steal 20 kwacha. We go in for 40 years. <laughs> we really need serious deliverance in Africa. I'm disappointed by the UPND government. This is not what we fought for. <laughs> this is not what we campaign for. Who didn't see how Campiongo was fighting me and insulting me? I didn't want to, I didn't want, I don't want to do policy. I've stopped politics as for now. Time for politics is coming. Who didn't know how Campiongo was fighting me? How he was boasting? Uh, very soon now, you are also going to convict a bowman Lusamba uh, and jail him for that one. You can give him one year. <laughs> uh, but people who were caught smoking, smoking dagger, which is not a sin, a leaf that God gave to us, a herb, it's just that they abuse it smoking many of them are in jail now for 10 years there are actually people in jail for years for doing nothing they didn't commit any crime but they are in jail for years but look at big criminals how do you recover a property worth 23 million kwacha and jail that person for three years it means you are you are making you are <laughs> you are making fool out of us but that's not why i'm here there is time for everything time will come when everyone will pay for what they have committed i'm going to leave it here i just want to bless you for for the month of october this month is going to be good for you this month is going to favor you god is going to elevate you this month in the name of Jesus. I just want to say that I love you. Month of October, whatever you lost this year, all the things that you have lost will be brought back to you. In this month of October, anything you touch shall prosper. 
you will not die. This is a very dangerous month. People die a lot in October. People die like, like chicken in October because there are so many sacrifices that take place. But I want to assure you that you will not die. The God of C01 is going to protect you. The God of C01 is going to guide you in the name of Jesus. Anything you touch this week shall succeed. It is well with you. So I've arrived at the site. Please, God bless you and take care of yourself. Remember to share the video. If you have not shared the video, share it now. And remember to like this page. Like this page. Follow this page because anyone from now it will start. All right, that's all for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you, lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutatim Pondum. I love you. Peace. I gotta go.